Radiography is actually x-rays and just about any other type of medical imaging that goes along with that. We're going to be the people that are in charge of taking the x-ray, making sure and positioning the patients. We use ionizing radiation to conduct exams. It also has a lot of like techniques and science behind it. Victor F. Spathelf is the building and it's actually called the Allied Health Building. This is where the hands-on skills come from. Um, this is where you put to test all the lecture and didactic material. Base floor is going to be all the labs and patient positioning, doing patient care, just stuff like that when we're out in the field. We're kind of prepping for it down there. We have one, two, three, four x-ray rooms and we have like a fluoroscopy unit, we have a C-arm, which is used for surgical cases and stuff like that. One of our labs is mainly positioning and understanding how you're gonna be positioning a patient. We have everything we need to learn about how to perform these exams when we're out in the field. Not as many students have to be using the same piece of equipment and it's much better for them to go into different rooms and be able to use different types. It's focused on making sure that we understand every little detail about like how x-rays work, about the anatomy. Typically, we just use the x-ray tube rooms because we're learning about how to position and image pretty much every part of the body. Patient care is something that we harp on here probably a lot more than other programs do, and we try to infiltrate that through pressure tests, we call them. During our like exams or evals, they kind of um, push us to think critically. With all of our studying and our tools that we do, our teachers will ask us, like, hey, this could be a registry exam, make sure that you are studying this. They're able to let us know the realities and they're not going to sugarcoat anything about what we're going to see in the hospital. The prerequisites that we need are like Math 115, we have to do like three different COHP classes. And then I know that we need English and I believe we need um, a biology, so like anatomy and physiology. We're finishing up our first year, we'll have the summer semester, and then in the fall is when we'll start clinical internship. Second year is all internships, so if you can't pass the first year, you can't go to internship. You're gonna be working in a hospital 40 hours a week for nine months. My main thing is to tell people is just to study and make sure that you're focused on what you wanna do and that this is what you wanna do in life. Work really hard. Um, don't give up because it'll come to you. Everything kind of builds upon itself. Definitely be a good time organizer because you're going to have a lot of homework. It's okay to make mistakes. You will get thick skin in this program. I love this place. I really do. I encourage people to come here. If you want to do x-ray, you want to do anything in medical imaging, come to Ferris. You won't be disappointed.